G'day everyone, I um, just wanted to do a quick video. So this one is going to just be about uh, crowdfunding for my new film Tales from the Outlands. I've, um, we've done a promo video which I've posted before and if you haven't seen it I will um, play it again for you shortly. We just did a photo shoot the other day uh, with the actors, some of them who were cops, were dressed as cops etc etc. Um, but yeah, just waiting for the video to drop. Oh, sorry, be, finish being prepared for for um, tales, and then I can show you all. So anyway, like I said, we're running a crowdfunder, and it's for thirty grand, which I know seems a lot, but um, it's uh, it's to help pay everybody. We're trying to do as many practical effects in the film as possible without having to use. Um, like CGI or VFX or anything like that. We may need, sorry, we may need a little bit of green screen in some of it. Not sure yet, but with that money, if we raise it, I, I more than likely won't be taking a cut. It'll just be paying cast and crew, and whatever cut I might have taken, I would prefer to put to uh, towards um, like production or, or paying people a bit more, whatever. And then I might try and take some off the back end. I know crowdfunders can ver can be very hit and miss, but um, hopefully we can get some support and get this thing made. I mean, we can't. We could probably make it for a little bit less than that, but we do have a contingency in place. The script's gone from, I think it's 16 pages. It'll now be closer to 40, but we do have a contingency in place so that if for some reason we can't make the bigger script, the writer's uh, condensing it down to about 20 pages in one location so we may be able to do it that way if worse comes to worse and yes I've hung the aversion poster up at the back there A2 size and it's got the laurels on it from um, the film festivals so what I might do for you is now quickly for those of you who haven't seen it I'm just going to share the screen um, and I'm going to show you the promo video that we did uh, for tales, and you'll be able to see what it um, what it is. So this is the promo video for tales from the Outlands. Can I make it any bigger? Just don't think I can. So in case you haven't seen it, this is it. So that's that. Um, it's bloody mouse. Yeah, so that's the promo. Um, that was done a while ago. In case you're wondering who the name Jason Lee Cheney was at the bottom, that's the name of one of our characters. It's a saying he came up with, and so we thought we'd add it in. Like I said, we did a photo shoot, um, which is a promo shoot that we're going to be adding to the crowdfunder. So from a lot of what I've been seeing and, and reading and hearing about crowdfunders, they recommend that um, sharing it with friends and family, doing a cold, like a, a sorry, a soft launch first, try and get at least a third of the budget, and then that way when you do um hard launch, you've got some money there. Wow, that's pretty freaky. It's a light from my microphone. Look at that. Wow. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm hoping that's next week. The video is just getting finished off, so we're putting the promo video together. There's a video I did, a little bit of a, a spiel, uh, and I think there's a little bit of a spiel the director Peter Anzulo did, and then hopefully Pete and I will jump on, do a live either from here or from the Tales of the Outlands page. Um, excuse me. And then that way we'll, we'll talk a bit more about it and about the film. 
and hopefully we can get maybe an actor or two on to talk about it as well. There are quite a few decent uh, rewards. Uh, well, not not rewards. They're called pledges, I think, on the on the actual crowdfunder itself. I'm just going to bring it up. I won't show you this, but um, the perks, that's what I'm talking about. So they start from $10 and go all the way up, all the way up to $10,000. i will give you a quick share of what looks like. I won't show you the actual perks themselves, but um, you get an idea. So there's $10, it goes down 20 25 and then all the way to 10000 These are the um, headings of what they are and what you'll be credited as if you do put money towards it. Um, but each one of them has its own, its own unique uh, perk to it. I won't show I won't show you what the perks are just because it's still in draft mode. Um, but you know these these are good because they're easy to set up. You get your basics. That's a poster that I think we're going to keep that design. We might change the font. Um, little things like that. I'm just uploading stuff as we go along. This is where the video is going to go to. There's a picture that may stay, may not short story i'm starting to load things up you know so it's getting there it's getting there it's um taken a while but hopefully by the time we do everything then it should be all good um yeah just going through everything so like i said i won't show too much of that just because it's um uh not ready yet and i don't want don't want you guys to see something that's not complete but um we are also trying for obviously private investing, so if you do feel that you want to um, uh, put some money in that maybe isn't, and you don't want any perks, because with the crowdfunder you can also um, put money in and not take any perks. You can, or, and you can do anonymous do, anonymous donations if you want, um, so people don't know who you are or whatever, and any amount like. It starts at 10 but you can put $5 in, you just don't get anything for it. Uh, you'll get a thank you, but that's about it. Um, there's a couple on there where you can come to the editing suite, watch the film being edited. Uh, you know, you can be on set for, for a day being an actor, or you can even work in the work uh, in one of the departments. There's a whole whole range of things that you'll see when um, when it gets launched. I'll, I'm not doing... I'm not doing physical... Um, items so there won't be like physical posters sent out or anything like that. it'll all be um, downloads so you'll get a copy of the poster that you can download and have on your computer or print out if you want you'll have a digital digital copy of the film I think there's a signed copy of the script things like that there's also um, on a couple of the perks there that'll there'll be a couple of the actors in character doing a video thank you and talk to you and, and just stuff like that so because for me, the physical, the physical items like the posters and things, if I wanted to, I can sell, I could sell them at the premiere, which I did for Black Ghost, and we we did okay. So, um, yeah, I'd, if if it's as a digital download, then you've got it forever, and you can, you know, print it out or do do what you want with it. That type of thing. Same with the film, um, and all of that. So yeah, that's what's going to be happening. The crowdfunder will be be launched. Hopefully, everyone can share it. Even if you can't donate or or pledge, if you can just if you could share it, that would be awesome. Um, because yeah, the more people that get to see it, the more chance we have. Um, I will link another crowdfunder down here that uh, film, filmmaking friends of mine are doing as well, called Craving. Jason Horton and Robert Bravo. Uh, check that one out. They're almost fully funded. I think in the first day. So they did a soft launch to begin with, and they got like two grand. And then the, when they launched it, I think it was midnight our time, and within the first day they had a hundred backers, and and they'd hit close to I don't know tw ten or twelve grand or something. So they did really well. They're about eight, nearly ninety percent funded now. So yeah, it it can work, I suppose, if you've got the following and things like that. Um, I, I know on the PFC page there's over two thousand members, you know, and so obviously, if everyone threw in 10 bucks, we hit our target, but it doesn't always work that way. Uh, and the other thing I just wanted to update you about was a version. So we're looking at still trying to get funding for that. I was speaking to Aaron, to my director today, Aaron, and um, we're going to try a few avenues. We're going to try private funding, and we may also do a crowdfunder, but the crowdfunder for that won't be as much. So it'll be 
probably maybe between 30 and 50 if we do it. Um, the budget will be bigger than that. We're looking at about 150, about 100,000 upwards. So 100,000 is the very bare minimum we can make it for and sort of pay everyone. But we, we wouldn't make a crowdfunder that big. It would be, like I said, if we do it, 30 to 50. But we're still working out the logistics of it, whether it's actually worth doing because there's a lot of time and effort need to go into it. You know, you need to have someone there that can, if someone pledges that they can... Um, thank them all the time and things like that so we're going to work that out but for now i'm going to launch the one for tails uh, but again if anybody out there is interested in just private investing and doesn't want anything to do with crowdfunding or anything like that hit me up either in the comments or message me on facebook instagram linkedin wherever um and we can have a chat about it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the amount any amount um because every amount helps and then we can work out you know um if you might get an associate producer credit or what the case may be, we, we can work that out for you. So I just wanted to quickly jump on with this video, guys, and, and uh, give you a quick rundown of what's going on. And I haven't been on much lately, but I've been recovering from my ankle surgery still, so it's all go, go, go. Printing out that poster. Also, for those of you who don't know Brendan Cowanans, um I will be giving you all an update on his fun on the when the funeral is soon. I know it'll be at Karakata. They haven't confirmed a date yet. Um, and the cause of death isn't known. For those of you who don't know, just quickly, Brendan Cowanans did fight choreography for a lot of us, um, for myself, Sean Gonzalvo, Nate, Str Nate Strider Knight, and a few others, as well as continuity, and unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, he was driving um, to his martial arts academy from his parents' house, pulled over the side of the road, and unfortunately passed away in the car. They don't know what caused it, Um I know there was a thing where he did have some chronic fatigue, but he would just sleep that off and get over it. So that was very, very sad news. Everyone was still really upset about it. And so, yeah, like I said, I'll let everyone know when the uh, when the funeral is. And their, their family would really like as many of us to turn up as possible, uh, show our support. So anyway, as I mentioned, that was just a bit of a side note. As I mentioned, the crowdfunder will be live soon and probably just before we launch it or we may even launch it at the same time when i if i'd go live with with our director and anyone else we might even drop it on that live just so you know you can all see it um and uh go from there all right everyone thanks so much and i will see you all next time oh don't forget make sure you go down subscribe i'd, I'd like to try and hit 100 subscribers before the end of the month thank you